want to be in the video. Say, I'm going to be in your way in video, Mama. See, look how big I am. I'm 24 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
call a friend. If the answer to this question is yes, then go do it. Call your friend, take a walk. If the answer is no, then it's totally okay to get a snack. Just do your best to make it a healthy one. Now, if you ask yourself when that timer goes off, if you still feel the urge to eat and the answer is no, then carry on with your day. That little five minute distraction stopped you from emotional eating when you really truly weren't snacky and you weren't hungry. Take notes of how you felt during that five minutes and how you felt after when you realized that you no longer had that urge to eat. Take notes of that so next time you're feeling emotionally hungry, you have some notes to look back on and some reflection that you can do before reaching into the snack cabinet. Sometimes all we have to do when we're feeling emotionally hungry, not true hunger, where we have hunger pangs or we haven't eaten a meal and we're truly hungry, but when we're feeling any emotion, positive or negative, and it makes us wanna reach for the snack cabinet, that's when we just have to take time to double check in with ourselves to make sure we're truly hungry or are we feeding that emotion with food? And honestly, that's not going to satisfy that emotion, especially if it's emotion of loneliness or sadness, we need to do something that brings us up, that makes us happy. And unfortunately, this little bit of gratitude vacation we get from eating that snack isn't going to fix the emotional issues that we're having. So that's why it's important to set that timer and check in with yourself before you're reaching for a snack. And I know I need to take my own advice. I definitely find myself being more of a bored eater than an emotional eater. So when I'm watching TV or when I'm editing videos or when I'm doing nothing, which isn't very often, but when I am, I find myself wanting to get a snack then. And I'm not hungry. It's only because I'm bored and that's going to fill that void of boredom. So it's just important to self-reflect and to be self-aware enough to know if you're emotionally eating or if you're eating because you're truly hungry. I really like this topic. I think it's truthfully relevant for most people. Now I know everybody's not an emotional eater or a bored eater, but we all struggle with food and some type of food addiction or we wouldn't be on WW or at our goal weight from WW or continuing to lose weight on whatever program we're on, whether it's WW or calorie counting, we have an issue with food. So I like this topic and I think it's extremely relevant in some fashion for just about everybody, myself included. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I shared with you guys last week, my goal up until I leave to go to San Diego, which is the 22nd of September, is to see a loss on the scale every week. I don't care what that number is. I don't care if it's point this, point that. I just want to see the number go down up until my trip to San Diego. So I'm happy to report that when I stepped on the scale today, that exact thing happened. I am down 0.6. So I have lost weight the last two weeks. My two little point this weight losses have added up to over a pound already for the month of September and I couldn't be happier. That's why I always tell you guys point this and point that adds up to a pound. So even though you step on the scale and you lost 0.4, 0.6 or 0.8, remember that if you lose that same amount next week, now you've lost well over a pound. That's how I look at the scale and that's how I look at the number on the scale and how much I'm losing every single week. So I'm thrilled, I'm happy, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm so glad to have my kitchen back. I actually can't wait to have my whole house back after this construction is over, which should be any day now. We love our floors, they turned out beautifully, but anytime you have any type of construction in your home, it's, it's hard. So I'm just going to go into this next week feeling happy, and looking forward to the week, getting in my jazzercise workout, tracking my food, and hoping to see another point this or point that on the scale next week. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain, did you lose? What do you think about this topic? Are you an emotional eater or a bored eater? And if you have any tips or tricks to combat that, leave it down in the comments. We could all use some information from all of you. I'm one person and you guys collectively can come up with way better ideas than me. So definitely leave those down in the comments. If you enjoyed this way in video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. We do a weigh-in day every single Friday. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, the two recipe eBooks, breakfast and lunch, links, discounts to all my favorite things, and don't forget to join us over on Facebook. Happy Friday, friends. I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.